Hello, mixers. If you're like me, keeping flavor notes can be somewhat cumbersome. You know, we're all busy. We all have a life. So in this series, I test the flavors. That way you will have more information. So when you're online ordering all your flavors, you'll have more information. And that way you can make a more educated decision. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's going on everybody? I am John from JFM Development and today we are flavor testing the Pella Blueberry Cinnamon Crumble. So let's not waste any time and let's mix it up. Alright guys, so we mixed it up and of course we mixed Capella at a 5% flavor testing. Always 5% with Capella. I mean, you're gonna might run into some flavors that might be a little bit stronger than others, but that's why you do the flavor testing, and that way it helps you gauge exactly the percentage you wanna be flavor testing at, such as flavor flavors, where some can be drops in a 10 mil, where others could be all the way up to 1%, but you don't wanna go much higher than 1% because flavor is like, whoa, strong, very strong. So, but in this case, this is that 5% blueberry cinnamon crumble. But before we vape it and try it out, and I tell you my thoughts on it, I'm going to try some of this blueberry cinnamon crumble over my hand, and let me tell you what I think about it. All right, so at first, it smells blueberry. Definitely cinnamon. Really cinnamony. Like, it's not like a, not a red hot cinnamon, it's more like a bakery cinnamon smell. And maybe there's some bakery notes in there as well. Let me try a little bit on my hand. It's weird, like, when I try it over my hand, I get like a, I get the cinnamon, I get the bakery cinnamon. I get the the baked baked notes, but then surprisingly, the blueberry like you can smell the blueberry, but when you taste it, the blueberry doesn't taste as strong. So that's gonna be interesting to see how that turns out and translates into vapor. Let me clear my palate. Alrighty, so. Nope. I got it in this 5% solution, just mixed up. Now if you're new to the show, we mix it up today, we try it right away just to see the potential of how the flavor will progress in time, then a week from today we're going to revisit this one and we're going to see if there's any changes, what has changed, how the flavor's developed and all that good stuff. This is pretty much just flavor notes in a video format, which is really cool. I think there's a big market for it. We, there's not a lot of people doing it. Okay. I do the hard work, so you might not have to. Although I do advise you still do your own flavor notes because my taste might not align with your taste or you might taste something differently than I do. But at least this should give you a good idea if you want to buy something, you know? There we go. That's what we want. We want the vapors. Yeah, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Put the cap on. Oh, cheers, guys. All right, so right off the bat, there's two things I want to mention. First thing I want to mention is that this seems like a weaker flavor. So that could be two things. One, it could, and this is why you flavor test. One, it could be, it needs more flavor. So it might need to be higher than 5%. So that's the first thing. That when you're flavor testing, that's something good to know. Or two, and this is why you wait and you'll see how it develops in time, like I was just saying. Two, it could be that it just takes time to develop and to steep. So that's why we revisit this down the line. In a week, I'm going to revisit it again. If I still feel like it needs revisiting, I'll keep revisiting it. But that that's what's going on here. Either one, 
it needs more flavor in it more than five percent or two it's just because of the kind of flavor it is and it needs more time to steep through now what i am tasting is i am tasting bakery there are bakery notes and there are some cinnamon notes and just a little bit of blueberry little bit and the blueberry is I wouldn't say a candy blueberry I would say it's kind of in between a candy blueberry and a natural blueberry now is this a good standalone flavor I'm kind of undecided at this point I don't think it is a good standalone flavor either way from what I'm tasting right now it's going to need work it's going to need some more flavors to help build it up so I'm not gonna say it's a good standalone flavor at this point maybe in a week from now I can make that claim now what flavors would this go good with well I could think of a nice one flavor or blueberry muffin that would probably be a perfect one to pair this with it would probably make a perfect blueberry muffin other bakeries with blueberries maybe a blueberry pie or something like that so there is potential here now how should I rate this though that that's the question um at this point there are still some unknowns with this flavor so I think it's good it's not horrible and I think that there's a lot of potential but it's not perfect right now and it needs some work so I'm gonna give it one thumbs up I'm not gonna give it two I'm gonna give it one thumbs up I'll revisit revisit it in a week and I will see what changes from there but yeah I think that's all I have to say huh yeah I think one thumbs up I think if you're looking into this flavor I think you should get it cautionly um, I'm not saying it's garbage it tastes really good but it tastes like it needs work so I, I'm gonna give it one more week so I think that's my thoughts on this so guys thank you so very much for watching I hope you really enjoyed the content please like and subscribe also in the links down below there has all the stuff I use in my videos there is scales VG, PG, stuff to make coils, everything you need for v DIY mixing, links will be in the descriptions. Those are affiliate links, but what those do is those help the channel so I can afford to get flavors and do everything I need to do to bring excellent content to you, give you excellent flavor notes, and all that great stuff. So any help does help me, and it'll go right back into the channel. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We're doing big things here at JFM Development, and I would love for you to be a part of it. And one last thing, if you're not following me on social media, I am JFM Development on Facebook and Instagram. And yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. You have guys have a great day. Peace. So you guys like this video. That's awesome. I have some more great videos right up here. Maybe you should click on one and check it out. Well, why are you guys still sitting here? Click on a video. Here's some more stuff on making DIY e-liquid. And there's perhaps another playlist or my most recent video. Check that out. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. Peace.